Today we're going to make lunch in a jar. I've had this pressure canner for a couple of years and I have used it so much. I love it. I cannot say enough good things about this. I pressure can meals in a jar for my husband to take to work and I do it every other week. He gets about 14 jars. He loves them. He loves the way it tastes. I'm never worried that I'm going to produce a bad product or a product that I have to worry about botulism. The Presto 12 quart digital canner is automated for simple home canning. It takes the fear out of pressure canning. It makes pressure canning so simple and it doesn't heat our house up. No adjustments are needed for pressure canning at high altitudes. The digital interface guides us through each canning method with an LED display to guide you each step from start to completion. Today we're going to make lunch in a jar. Items we will be using today is our complete guide to home canning by the USDA, some seasonings, our Presto Precise Digital Pressure Canner, seven cups of mixed vegetables, seven cups of meat of your choice, seven wide mouth canning jars, funnel, one cup canning lids, canning rings, and a butter knife to get the air bubbles out. Whenever pressure canning meat, even though today we are adding vegetables to it, we still have to go by the USDA's time for processing meat because there is meat in the jar. And according to the USDA, the recommended process time for ground or chopped meat for pints is 75 minutes and for quarts it's 90 minutes. So that's what we're gonna set on our digital pressure canner today. We are using pints so we're gonna set it at 75 minutes. So this is how we open the canner. We'll take the lid off. Now inside, here's your pot, and then that's the rack that your jars are going to sit on. Inside our pot, we have three lines. The bottom line is for when we do pressure canning. So we need to fill water to that level. Let's do that now. We'll stop when we get to that first line. Now that the water has been filled to the bottom line, we'll put this pot back into the pressure canner. So now take your freshly washed canning jars and we're going to fill them halfway with water and we'll place them into the canner. So the pressure canner is now going to warm the jars and get them ready for canning. Then we'll put the lid on. Okay, so I plugged the canner in. Now the light's flashing. It says pressure can. We're going to hit the arrow to say yes, we want a pressure can. Now the time is flashing. And we know that looking at the USDA book, we need to process our jars for 75 minutes. So I'm going to take this, go to 75 minutes. Turning it to the right. Okay, once I have the right processing time in, I'm going to hit this little arrow again. Now it says to insert our jars, and that's what we already did. We inserted the empty jars half filled with water from the sink. So we're going to say, okay, we did that. So now what the machine's doing, I don't know if you can see this, it's warming the jars, getting them ready 
to can them. So when it's ready, we'll hear a beep and we'll open the machine and we'll get the jars out one by one and fill them with our food. Okay, so our jars are all warmed. Now the digital screen is telling us to fill the jars and that's what we'll do next. You can see our jars in here are all warmed. We'll take them out one by one. They're kind of hot. You might need a pot holder. And we'll empty this water in the sink and then we'll fill each jar with our ground meat, our mixed vegetables, our seasoning, and put them back into this hot water in the canner. Okay, so once we've added one cup of ground meat, we're going to add one cup of mixed vegetables on top of that. Push it down into the jar pretty good. All right, so now we have all seven jars done, and we're going to add a little bit of water in there. Now we're going to take the seasonings that you love and add them to each jar. I'm adding onion powder, not salt, onion powder. Then I'm going to add garlic powder. Then I'm going to add salt. And I'm going to add pepper. Now that all the jars are seasoned, we're going to wipe off the rims. And then we'll put the lids and the rings on. So now I'm going to wipe off the rims to make sure that they're all clean. We won't have any problems getting a correct seal when we can these. You just wanna make sure that they're all clean. Okay, so now they're all done. So now we'll put the lids on and the rings. Now that the jars are all wiped down, the lids are washed and soaking in warm water. We'll use our magnet stick and we'll take the lids out and put them on top of our jars. Okay, so now we're going to put the rings on. These are the rings. We'll put one on each jar, and we're just going to put it barely tight. Don't over tighten these. Just put them on to where they're tight, but not super tight. Just enough like that. I'm not going to hand crank them down or nothing. Now these are all ready to be placed into the canner. So our jars are inside the machine. We hit the next button and now it's heating up. Make sure that your pressure regulator is not on the machine. The machine will tell us when it's time to put it back on and I'll show you that. The canner is going to vent for 10 minutes to build up pressure in the machine. Once it's done venting, that little valve will pop up and lock it and then we'll put the pressure regulator on the back. Here's the digital reader. It's counting down. Once it's done venting, we'll put this pressure regulator back on. And I'll show you where to put it on the back. When we place the regulator on, 
We need to make sure that it's pointed to can. Once this valve pops up right here, then the machine will start counting down the time to pressure can the meat. It's gonna stay at that time right now, 75 minutes, until the pressure is built up all the way and the valve pops. It should be very, very soon. You can hear it. You can hear it building up. There it goes. Did you see it pop up? Yep. There it is. It popped up. So now our timer is going to start counting down. Okay, it's almost finished canning. It's counting down. It's only got two minutes left on the canning process out of the 75 minutes that we set it to. Now after this, it's gonna have to cool for an hour and a half in this machine. The pressure valve is gonna stay locked for another hour and a half until the machine depressurizes and cools down and then we can remove the lid. Now it's cooling. This is where it's going to take like an hour and a half to depressurize and cool. When the digital pressure canner is completely cooled, the screen will read done. The pressure valve up here has now dropped down and we can now open the canner and get the cans out. It's still going to be hot inside, but the pressure has been dissipated. And so now you can actually open it. And as you can see, all of the jars are finished. And we'll take them out and put them on a towel on the counter. So this ends our tutorial on how to make lunch in a jar. As you can see, this is like and subscribe to Grandma's channel. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel.